Time now for the evening rush. The ACLU won a big lawsuit that puts an end to the city's push to curb panhandling. The lawsuit claims Albuquerque's so-called pedestrian safety ordinance is unconstitutional by violating free speech. This means APD cannot ticket or arrest people for asking for money on sidewalks, medians, and freeways on and off ramps. City Councilor Trudy Jones insists it's about keeping drivers and pedestrians safe. New video could be used in the case against the man accused of taking an APD officer on a scary ride. Last month, Albuquerque police found Michael Nieto in a car sleeping. You stop the car. You want me? No. No. This was in a neighborhood near I-40 and Rio Grande. Police said they noticed a gun. Nieto drove off with the officer still holding onto his arm, and the officer eventually got out of there and uninjured. The driver was arrested after that crash. The weather headlines this weekend are not unlike what we saw today. It's still going to be dry and hot in the metro. With temperatures in the high 90s and the southeast will remain very hot as well. But scattered mountain storms will develop with more storms toward late Sunday. Albuquerque police are searching for answers after an early morning murder. Police say they got a call about a man outside of the 7-Eleven on San Mateo and Catherine early this morning bleeding from his stomach. They say he had been stabbed and died on scene. No word on the victim's identity or if police have a suspect. Donia Anna County Sheriff Kim Stewart is holding a series of meetings to get the public's input. Stewart is part of a 20 member group tasked with making recommendations on the legalization of marijuana. The governor expects those recommendations to be part of cannabis legislation that would be introduced next legislative session. The state's health department is reminding people to clean out their water cooler after eight Albuquerque police officers fell ill. This happened at the Southwest substation on Coors. Officials believe it was the water cooler and it turns out it was E. coli. Right now, a vigil is being held in Pewaukee for a local Tejano singer. Police say was murdered by her husband last week. She's also being honored with this new mural. This mural is painted at an Italian fusion restaurant in Española. Artist Sebastian Vela hopes this tribute will help the community heal from its devastating loss. A heat wave is sweeping the nation and health officials are staying, saying to stay hydrated. The New Mexico Department of Health says limit your time outdoors and drink a lot of water. The department says just in the last week it has received reports of 20 emergency room visits. They say symptoms range from dizziness to nausea and weakness. Santa Fe police are searching for a shooting suspect who may be injured. Police believe Miguel Mendoza Portillo and another man got into a fight on Barella Lane and they exchanged gunfire. That unidentified man was taken to the hospital, but police say Mendoza Portillo drove away before they arrived and they believe he was also wounded. If you know where he is, call police. A man accused of killing his young son is back behind bars after a judge said he violated conditions of release. Ricardo Soto is accused of fleeing to Mexico after police say he beat his two-year-old son, Erudoso, last summer. A district judge and the Supreme Court ruled Soto could be released. Now Judge Angie Snyder says he wasn't where he's supposed to be. Right now, lottery sales are down, but the CEO of the New Mexico Lottery is getting a 26% raise. Lottery officials say David Barden's old agreement had bonuses tied to performance. The potential earnings from bonuses is just part of his $220,000 salary. Some argue that money should have gone toward funding scholarships. A survey ranks Governor Michelle Lujan Grisham as the sixth most unpopular governor in the country. Morning consult polled more than 2,400 voters, which said 44% of New Mexico voters surveyed approved of the job Governor Michelle Lujan was doing, while 43% disapproved. A federal minimum wage hike will likely stall in the U.S. Senate. Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell said that measure will not be put up for a vote. This after the House passed the measure along party lines. Zotel Torres Small voted no on that increase to $15. She says she's for an increase but says it should be based on the regional cost of living. Well, your Metro Threat Index for Saturday is actually fairly high. The main reason for that is the heat across the area. We're still going to see another day of scorching temperatures here, and we're going to remain largely dry, although we could still pick up a spot thunderstorm. Local police officers are being honored for their life-saving efforts. Among those honored today by Albuquerque Metro Crime Stoppers, the members of APD's Armed Robberies Unit. They track down repeat offenders to keep businesses and citizens safe. 
The 50th anniversary of the moon landing is tomorrow, and a New Mexico man is remembering a gift Neil Armstrong gave him. Chuck Witt was the deputy director for the Lowell Observatory in Flagstaff back in 2012. He invited Armstrong to preview their new telescope and speak at a gala weeks later. Armstrong gave him a model of the lunar lander and a card he signed. Beginning next Thursday, a New Mexico hospital will take to Facebook to answer questions from new parents. The San Juan Regional Medical Center hosting Facebook Live sessions. They say it could help parents who have busy lives. Those sessions will be held on the fourth Thursday of every month starting at noon. On Monday, PNM is helping out some low-income customers. PNM reps will be at Alamosa Health and Social Services Center in Southwest Albuquerque from 1 to 4 in the afternoon. They will be helping customers pay their bills. Customers should bring their PNM bill, proof of income, and IDs.